With a major reduction in revenue, the government is having to dip into its initial rainy day fund of £150 million to support employees in the private sector who will not receive a salary in April. 5,700 applications for the Beat COVID monthly assistance payment of £1,155 have been received, amounting to over £6.5 million. It will represent a significant injection of public money into the economy, directed into the pockets of those needing it most. The Chief Minister is proud of the fact that the package has been delivered in record time, producing the money now as it is needed now, unlike other countries where payments will be delayed. The government itself will be hoping for a speedy return to normality, as the Treasury will be hurting, not least because the extraordinary payments are coinciding with a huge reduction in income from tax, social security and import duty. But although there are encouraging signs, Gibraltar has not yet reached its destination, for which lockdown continues. Monday's Cabinet will consider all aspects, including general public and business restrictions and those specifically for over 70s. The review will now take place every week, but no one should expect any easing of the lockdown soon, as the advice remains that it should continue. There are now fewer active cases, just 21 out of 132 positive results from 1,859 swabs taken. The trend is very much in a downward direction, with the statistics now being considered by a new committee called SAGE, led by Sir Joe Bosano. It also includes former Chief Secretary Ernest Montado, former Director of Public Health Dr Vijay Kumar and statistician Claire Kelly Federico. Fabian Picardo says their advice will not supersede that provided by the current Director for Public Health. There's no question of therefore not continuing to take the advice of the current Director of Public Health. It's to advise us all in Cabinet, in addition to the advice we may have from the Director of Public Health, how to interpret other statistical data that is brought to the attention of the Cabinet. And uh, as I said also during the course of my introduction, this group has been established in consultation with the Minister for Public Health and the Director of Public Health. The Director of Public Health, Dr Sohail Bhatti, says that the figures confirm that the virus is in decline locally, but that the lockdown is buying Gibraltar valuable time. He says the restrictions on movement is the most successful element of the coronavirus strategy, but fear for another peak remains. This damned lockdown um, can let you, um, your mood go down. Um, However, we would be looking at things like immunity in the population. Um, We are moving to a strategy of trying to combat uh, whenever we have little flare-ups and pockets of infection. And that might mean that actually that might give us a degree of comfort uh, in terms of releasing that in the future. But we need to demonstrate that we can do that. Testing is obviously important. As I've said, we can swab this population. Um, Obviously, in the longer term, uh, one of the other things we're hoping for is vaccines and antivirals. So just remember that one of the things that um, will be beneficial to us in terms of uh, trying to delay any upsurge is this buys us time. Between 800 and 1,000 people are likely to have contracted the virus already, with most, about 60%, not even knowing it. It is not the major outbreak that was expected, which may still come. The future will be driven by the environment around us, such as Spain, Morocco and air travel. For the moment, Gibraltar continues well-placed to fight COVID-19. There are adequate stocks of swabs, and unlike the shortages in UK, there's about a month or two of personal protection equipment available for frontline health workers, although a study is being undertaken to determine for how long exactly this will last. Hazmat suits have also been ordered. Everything is in place and fewer active cases, which is good news. But both Mr Picardo and Dr Barty are at one in the view that Gibraltar is not out of the woods yet.